Because the thermostat uh, LS is located about halfway down the motor compared to on top, like an old small block, um, you can't just fill the radiator with uh, antifreeze and expect it to all come up. You have to fill the top of the motor and then you have to fill the bottom of the motor. So you fill the top of the motor by filling it through the radiator top radiator hose. So I've got this loose, so I'll basically take that off and you fill it until antifreeze starts dribbling out of the steam tube here. From the factory LS's, I think all GM cars come with uh, the, uh, the pink or red type of antifreeze called Dexcool. Um, and I'm not going to use that in this. I'm just going to use the standard old green type antifreeze, 50-50 mix with distilled water. Um, what I've read about the Dexcool is um, it's a good antifreeze, um, but it has to be a sealed system. If you don't have a sealed system, uh, you can get deposits. Uh, almost like sand, sandy type stuff. And this thing is not a sealed system. Um, and you can't mix the stuff. You can't mix the two together. So I'll, anyhow, I'm gonna use the, uh, the standard green type coolant. I've taken off the hose for the steam tube. I'm gonna put just some towels underneath there. And I'll start filling until I see it weeping out the, uh, out the steam tube. Started coming out the steam tube there. You can see the green. It was about a gallon and a half. So now I'll hook up the steam tube and finish um, filling up the radiator hose and then put it on. And then the next step is then to fill the radiator itself and then that'll fill up the engine from the bottom. So now I'll fill the radiator, which will also fill the bottom of the block. All right, well the radiator's for the most part full, and I put a little bit into the overflow bottle there. Uh, it took, oh, let's see, two, four, five gallons, something like that. 